never ever find the right words And there's no way this is real life There's no telling you What's up guys? So today in today's video, uh, we're starting off this video with checking out some cars from a dealership. So I never thought in my life I'd be able to afford a car from an actual dealership. And I don't know if it's a good idea financially, but we're gonna go check it out and see if they actually have my dream car. So for those of you guys who are, who are not OG followers, but you know, wanna be uh, OG followers, one of my biggest dreams is to get an Audi R8. It's like my absolute biggest dream. And some of these new supercars are coming out and I'm always like, oh, but this one's better than the R8 right now this isn't that but from the beginning of my channel I've always wanted an R8 so I, I kind of want to do that I kind of want like since that was the thing I was working so hard to get regardless of what car comes out now I'm still gonna get the R8 because that was the dream when I was younger so we're gonna go look at Audi see if they actually have an Audi R8 in the showroom and if not uh, it is what it is but we're gonna check it out and we'll see if it is the right move for now I have a good enough down payment or should we give it some time we'll have to see I'm also looking to get a truck and I'm also looking to get another build so um there's a lot of reasons we're actually heading out of the dealership we're going to be test driving a whole bunch of different cars dream car hopefully truck and another build on the channel i kind of want to do a build like this 435 something completely custom the fourth i think i have one of the most completely custom 435s on youtube again huge special shout out to keys motorsports don't forget to use code nor5 shout out to them but yeah i want to do another build like this but maybe in a newer platform or a different platform anywho before we get into all that let's go ahead and get some food and then uh we'll head down to the steeler ships this thing is popping Oh my god, I'm gonna get arrested. <laughs> is an F250 King Ranch. Some of the trucks that I'm actually looking at, I don't really know if I want, I like F250s, I think I like F150s more, but let me know what you guys think is better for towing and just daily use. And also, we are at the Costco gas station. Uh, we are completely out of fuel, so we gotta cop some of that. All right guys, just made it to Chipotle. Let's go ahead and get our bowl, and then we'll start this day off right. All right guys, just got my Chipotle, but a little change of plans. So uh, we're actually heading to the dealership tomorrow. Uh, a person from Craigslist hit me up for one of the cars I've been looking at, and he said he finally got the pink slip in. I've been messaging you for about two weeks. So if he's actually legit and he has the pink slip, this is a great buy. I think that it's, a, it's roughly above, it's a little over $10,000. Um, I've never bought a car with that much cash in my life, so I think I'm gonna meet him at the bank. I don't really trust carrying $10,000 or more uh, in hand, so let's go ahead, just chow down. I told him I'll meet him about 30, 30 to 45 minutes, and then we'll get the car. Uh, so pretty exciting news. This is probably one of the bigger builds on the channel, like the 435, so I'm sure you guys are gonna be excited for that. I know I am, so uh, yeah, let's go ahead and chow down, and then uh, let's head over and pick up a new car for the channel. Guys, I'm like head over heels for F-150s now. Oh my God. Right, guys the time has come money's here let's head down i only have half the money right here but uh, let's head down pick up the sep 10 i'm gonna show my brother what the car is it is in stock and it is the lowest mileage for the price so i think we're getting a good deal i'm gonna go ahead and talk to him and figure out the paperwork but it's got an exhaust already and it already has m5 wheels this is sick all right guys and just like that that car is ours let's go ahead and head home and i'll show you guys what we just got Sounds insane, guys. All right, guys, so we just picked up a 535. Comes with both keys, and I actually have both of my 435 keys. I'm gonna go ahead and put the Sabre BMW jet tags on all four of these. Just to celebrate for getting a new car, and all the accessories on hashtag Sabre BMW are gonna be 30% off. So anything you guys want for the new car, it's only gonna be up for about 24 hours. So uh, the code's right there, so make sure to use that code. You guys get 30% off. Let's just create a code right now, 535i. That's the code, so use code 535i to get 30% off. Any accessories, air fresheners, jet tags, key tags, pop sockets. But anywho, check out the new addition to the channel, guys. I couldn't believe there's gonna be a day in my life that I was able to afford a car like this cat. You guys know the 435 is financed, but it's actually, like, I think I have less than 10 grand left on this 435, which is amazing. But to think I actually got a 2011 with only 78,000 miles and it's completely paid off is absolutely insane. So yeah, this is officially mine. Like, it's absolutely registered. It's already registered under my name. It's not, it's not registered under my name yet. It is gonna be an absolute pain to uh, pay taxes on it, register it, tag's about to expire. So it's gonna be about a grand to get this thing under my name, but it is what it is. I think the car is well worth it. This is a 2011 535i with an M5 rims. It does have the gray interior, which I'm not gonna lie, not the biggest fan of, but it's not terrible compared to the E90 chassis. I remember the E90 gray interior was absolutely pitiful. This is actually not bad at all. I'm gonna be upgrading the steering wheel. I'm gonna be doing the exhaust. So for those of you guys who are wondering what happened to the exhaust, I didn't put the Valtronic on the 650i because I was gonna put it on this car. This car already has a muffler delete. 
but I do want to have a Valtronic on here and just go straight pipe or catless or whatever. So yeah, it already has quad tips, just super sick. So we're gonna go ahead and upgrade the full body kit of this car. Let me know guys, this color is actually pretty beautiful. So should I end up wrapping the car or should I actually get a full body kit and a paint in the body kit to match the car? I do want to do the chrome delete and make this all gloss black. Again, steering wheel. We got a whole bunch of engine mods we got to get done to this car. And we're actually going to do it a little bit differently. I do want to go JB4. Since this is an N55, I do want to kind of build this a little bit differently. A different intake from a different company here, different sound. I want to have different charge pipes, different all engine mods because they're both N55s. But I want to have this built differently so we can actually compare the two N55s and see how they sound differently side by side, which I think would be super sick. And not many channels can do that. And at the same time, I think this is going to look absolutely insane. I'm going to make it an M packet, M steering wheel. It already has the M5 rims, M body kits. It already has the quad tip as well, which is super sick. Let me show you guys what comes in the trunk. So if we go ahead and use one of the two keys, this is a brand new key. I think I'm gonna go ahead and use this one. Uh, but this is one that came with the car. So I'm gonna unlock the trunk. I'm inside the trunk, it does need a vacuum. So we're gonna go ahead and fill up the car with some gas in this video. We're gonna go ahead and vacuum the car and just clean up the interior just a little bit more. And uh, yeah, here's the steering wheel that actually came with the car. He actually bought this, but it needed a different airbag. So this is an M Sport steering wheel for the five series. Now they do actually sell the exact same steering wheel that's in my 435, but let's change it up and do it. Let's go ahead and add this thing. We'll have to get an airbag on here. And uh, I might actually send this to Azza to get it remade. So we'll see about that. But if we don't, this still looks super good. Still super bulky. It looks beautiful. And uh, but yeah, regardless, we need a new airbags. So we're gonna have to get rid of the current setup that we have. And yeah, this thing needs to get vacuumed up. So let's go ahead, leave this in the trunk. There he has a spoiler too, but you know we have to get rid of that and throw on some carbon fiber. And yeah, guys, this thing is an absolute sight to see. So I'm gonna go ahead and wash my hands mainly because I've been touching a whole bunch of things. I haven't touched my face yet for that exact reason. So I'm gonna wash my hands, get some wipes, wipe the steering wheel, wipe a bunch of controls, and then we're gonna go ahead, get some gas in this car, get a drink to celebrate, and then also clean up this interior as much as we can, and then go online and figure out what we need to do. I do want to get rid of these fenders because this thing looks pitiful. I want to get a new hood. I want to get new sides because I want to get carbon fiber because I want to do this absolutely insane. I have so much plans for this car. It's gonna look like this, but in a 535 form. So for you guys who are F10 fans and have finally been waiting for this, this is what I've been saving up for, and we we're finally able to buy it cash on hand with only 78,000 miles. Finally been able to get a dream car of mine. Absolutely insane, guys. All right, guys, got some rags. Wipe down just to make sure that your man doesn't get any corona. I went ahead and washed my hands, decontaminated them. Hopefully everything is good. Okay, so I think I got pretty much everything that I'm normally touching. Um, we got this thing. Yep, got this thing as well. All right, guys, taking the car out. We need to put some gas in this thing, and uh, yeah, we need to we need to clean this sucker up. Hopefully it has Bluetooth. I don't know if this car, this thing has no features whatsoever, but obviously we're gonna put a whole bunch of retrofits and make this thing worthwhile. 79,000 on the clock. We're gonna try to do all these mods before this car even hits 80,000 miles. That's the goal. So let's go ahead, modify as much as we can before this thing hits 78,000 miles. I mean, 80,000 miles, such a beautiful car. Oh my God. I'm not the biggest fan of the E60s, but the F10s look so good. Very luxurious, very comfortable, literally, a spaceship, but uh, has an N55 motor with so much capabilities. Guys, look at the back of camera. I just got my phone hooked up, so this thing does have Bluetooth. Thank the Lord. I swear to God, if a 2011 didn't have Bluetooth, I would have lost my baloney schmoney. So, anywho, uh, Costco gas station, second, second time today uh filling up two cars it is what it is when you own two bmws it is what it is so i'm gonna have to put this on my insurance as well full coverage i'm not gonna risk it for the biscuit so uh yeah let's go ahead and go into the costco gas station fill this sucker up and uh yeah that's how she's looking she's looking pretty bad right now but we're gonna fill her up take care of her and we're gonna go ahead and order all the maintenance tonight damn pull up behind the 435 vert i mean it's not bad you know uh let's see how much it costs to fill up a 535 boys i was here earlier today and it was 2.7 all of a sudden it's 20 cents cheaper what the hell anywho i mean cheaper is cheaper you know well four to three dollars later it is what it is all right guys full gas tank in the new whip all right i'm gonna go ahead and just park real quick and call my insurance so actually let me go drop off one of you guys' packages and then call insurance uh I think that's quite important to be honest. Right, I cannot get over this speed bump with my 435. But let's see if we can go ahead and do it in the 535. Oh, it made it. It made it. Oh, that's so scary. That bump should not even be legal. It is way too hot. Yeah, so let's head down to the post office real quick and then uh, we'll go ahead and call insurance and put this on insurance just so we don't get pulled over and then uh, we can go to our next mission for the day. All right, guys, post office line. Just go ahead and drop off this package. Right, guys, just got out of the post office. This car is super nice. What the hell? So one thing I noticed is this thing is like super disgusting. So I went ahead and already, already ordered this piece. But this piece is only 12 bucks. 
Like it's so, like it's crazy how F10 parts are the same or even cheaper than E90 parts. I don't know why, but they're super cheap. Uh, this little door here doesn't close, like it just keeps opening. So uh, I went ahead, and I'm gonna go ahead and place an order on that. I'm thinking about, should we do carbon fiber in this? Should we dip the trim in carbon fiber? Should we cop some carbon fiber? Or should we get the aluminum? Let me know what we should do guys down below. But anyway, let me call my insurance and uh, let's go and put this thing on insurance. Okay, thank you, appreciate it. All right, perfect, perfect, guys, perfect. So the car is on my insurance. I did just put liability with comprehensive, mainly because I always put comprehensive if I choose liability, uh, because I am confident in my driving, and if there was a car in front of me, I would brake hard enough to where the accident wouldn't be too severe. But comprehensive means if there was like an animal, or someone broke into my car, or somebody stole my car, uh, it would still be covered under insurance. If you just stick with liability, if you don't get the insurance card of the other driver, if the other car, the other driver doesn't have insurance when they hit you, you are absolutely screwed. So comprehensive is very important, whether you choose liability, uh, I mean, if you choose liability, if you just go strict liability, just know that you're pretty much not covered because a lot of drivers do not have insurance. I think more than like 40% of drivers do not have insurance. So stay safe, guys, and you don't want to be screwed over. I just paid, I'm not gonna name the exact price of this car, but I paid over 10 for this car, and uh, let's just say if somebody was to hit me and drive off, I would be absolutely just, just hurt like it would hurt a lot so full coverage on this car would almost double and triple my policy so I don't want to pay five six hundred dollars a month uh, as for both my cars right now the 435 being full coverage since I drive that every single day better safe than sorry it is also a finance vehicle so I want to be safe when it comes to that and this car I uh, just wanted to be uh, just liability with comprehensive so both the cars it's 250 a month from AAA that's insane that's actually really good so shout out to them not that they gave me a good deal or anything but shout out to them so anyway let's head down and get this thing uh, vacuumed up here at the pumps so here's the before nothing too crazy you see a little bit of a leaf right there they honestly vacuumed up and cleaned up the car for me which is pretty nice of them but showing you guys the trunk real quick uh yeah no so this is what i pretty much came here for i just want to vacuum all this stuff out make the trunk look a whole lot better so when i show my parents the car tonight i know i have one of those things where i like to show my parents whatever i got it's just one of my things so anyhow uh, i do want to make this thing as presentable as possible got the m sports steering wheel just chilling there so here's the before and uh here's the after uh, I just pretty much vacuumed with the driver's seat, the driver's carpets, even the rear seats as well, and then also the rear carpets. This is gray, so I feel like the dirty stains will show up more. I even vacuumed up the whole trunk, which looks a lot better. Uh, still a little bit of a few things that I gotta scrub out, and we'll clean that up for the most part. But yeah, guys, it comes with two of these. I think this is not even for this car. This one has all the manuals sealed brand new. And actually, this is the BMW Sunshade Visor. It's super sick. I think these actually, oh no, this is the first aid kit. Unfortunately, this car does not come with the first aid kit. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put all this stuff where that goes. Um, so at least it doesn't take up any space. And uh, yeah, it even comes with the tow hook, which is dope. And uh, I, yeah, whatever. Anywho, let's go ahead and get a drink and uh, celebrate. I'll help you if you get an iced coffee. Uh, French vanilla. Can I have a large iced vanilla coffee? Perfect. Thank you, you too. Damn! So guys, this is the real test. Will this giant drink fit in this cup holder? Oh, hell yeah, that's what I'm talking about, boy. Go ahead and do a, do a little taste test. Mm. Oh my God, you got, you, oh, I almost dropped the coffee. If you guys have never drank a French vanilla from McDonald's, cop one. Guys, I still can't believe you have an F10 on the channel now. Oh my God, this thing is such a beaut. I wasn't a huge fan of the, fan, the 5 Series in this E60 chassis or before that. Actually, I was never a fan of the 5 Series, but the F10, it, it changed my mind. So this is how the car sits, guys. So it's pretty much the base package. Doesn't have any M Sport anything, no carbon fiber bits. Does have the M5 wheels, which is one of the reasons why I'm gonna tell you guys what I think in a little bit on my decision. Stock, you know, no aggressive side skirts, not too shabby. The fenders, stock, hood, stock, bumper stock. Obviously Obviously, this is just the base model. Um, it has like obviously because 5 Series comes standard with the dynamic headlights. So they come with the halos and all that good stuff. Thank the Lord. And they're white, no amber. So that looks really good. And this is also stock. We're going to have to throw some carbon on there. And then the aluminum trim. Anywho, should we go with the M Sport package? Which I'll throw up a picture right there of how M Sport looks with some carbon fiber goodies. And obviously, we're going to do a whole bunch of carbon fiber goodies. Or should we go with an M5 body kit um, with a whole bunch of carbon fiber goodies? Basically, it has M5 wheels. So should we go with the M5? Or we can still do the M sport with the m5 wheels it still look good regardless but do you guys think the m5 is going to be like you know ricey or do you guys think the m5 is going to look good and uh, regardless either or i'm going to be putting back on the badge the 535 badge so let me know what you
you guys think about that. So even if I was to put on an M5 body kit, it would still have the 535 badging. So uh, I'm not gonna be rocking that uh, that ricey life, if you know what I mean. All right, guys, jumping inside the car. I already ordered this little piece there. It is honestly truly a blessing to be able to sit in this car and know that it's ours. Like it's finally ours. Like it's just crazy because like this car is paid off and uh, it's the same generation as my 435 and that one's not paid off. This one's paid off already, 78,000 miles clean title it's just really crazy that i was able to get something like this and i don't think i would have been able to do it if it wasn't for you guys so shout out to everyone who's been purchasing merch and just supporting the channel because this is an absolute blessing and i'm gonna turn into one of the best f10s i, I don't even think i've seen an f10 build on youtube i think it's literally one of the most underrated builds and this chassis is such a beautiful chassis if you guys see the potential like i do so i plan on absolutely sending it full sending it so for any of you guys that want to get this and do a few mods i have literally every single mod in the book for this car from engine mods to tunes to body kits to carbon to interior steering wheels exhaust all the good stuff the whole shebang is going to be done to this car so if you guys are excited for that make sure to smash the like button if this video gets 3,000 likes i'll go ahead and reach out to all my sponsors and ask them to jump on on board asap and get this build going 3,000 likes and i won't even i won't even hesitate even if they don't jump on board i'll go ahead and just place an order drop a couple grand and just send so 3,000 likes guys if you guys want this episode to be pumped out like it's nothing without further ado guys i love y'all so much thank y'all for the support remember 30 percent off for the new build just to thank y'all so much for the continuous support use code 535i and without further ado guys i love y'all so much remember to stay humble next one peace out